she'll then be on her social media. Hey, look, I know you're used to um, getting some type of clip at the beginning of these videos, but we're not doing that right now. Right now, I need you to go in the description box, go to the um, the link that says Stupid Rappers. That's the new channel. Um, that channel is going to have Stupid Rappers on it, but that's the new channel. Shout out to everybody uh, on the Instagram who um, participated with the poll when I asked, should I take... The Rap Trap down and upload Stupid Rappers as a new channel. Love to y'all, whatever like that. Alright, go to the video. Love. The reason why this has to broadcast on both channels is because this shit is kind of groundbreaking to me Because it shows that these motherfuckers have broken And it's an example of both of them um, On the Big Facts podcast, we talk about symptoms of real life And then on the rap trap, we talk about symptoms of the rap industry um, This is kind of both um, Really, it's just rap, for real Really, it's just rap. It, it really just rap. Kevin Gates just dyed his hair blonde. Shout out to my nigga who noticed that I always look to the left. Uh, the reason why I do that, he said that I was looking to the left because I was looking at a government teleprompter. But really, that's just where my camera is, and I'm just paranoid like that. But Kevin Gates just dyed his hair blonde. Um, big surprise to everybody. You know what I'm saying? The, I, what was really surprising to me... What was really surprising to me was, look at the nigga who did his hair. The nigga in the back, look. So what do you want to say to your fans? Yo. I just put up a picture on my Instagram of a uh, gunner. Just put it up. Uh, a picture of gunner. This nigga has all flowers. Not live. Not live shit. I'm trying. It's not live. It's no way that you look at that as a nigga. Where we come from, there's no way that you would look at what he had on and say that's live. You have to be told that this is what you should wear. This is all I'm saying. This is all I'm saying. So when I tag these niggas and shit, when I tag all shit, like my nigga, look at your fucking shoes, my nigga. When I tag Rich the Kid, well, Rich the Kid, I don't think that nigga was no, never nowhere near no street. You know what I'm saying? That'd be the same thing as talking to Sakashi 69 or Lil Pump. But for the street niggas, who are anywhere near the street, like, you know that that shit right there, in your mind, is like, them, them shoes look like cross trainers. Like, them the shoes that, like, you don't even see them shits. They don't have those shoes in Foot Locker. They don't have those shoes in Champs and shit like that. You have to go to a uh, shoe show or maybe the Nike factory to get the cross trainers, like the shoes that look like they squeezed in the middle. Know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shoes that be in, in Champs and, and Foot Locker that just ugly as fuck. That nigga just buy like the KDs and, and the, the foam posits. Ugly as fuck, but that could be my opinion. That could be my opinion, like the Penny Hardaways or the Emmett Smith shoes and shit like that. That could be my opinion and shit like that. But the shoes that they're wearing are unanimously, that's ugly as fuck. These outfits, uh, the, the flowers and shit like that. You, that that outfit derived from the Migos style. We saw the Migos wearing the flowers. We thought it was maybe just a um, for the occasion or some shit like that. But you niggas have made that 
a real wave and you're only wearing it because it's accepted in the places that you now go and everywhere because when you are in the big places with the people with all the money and shit like that of course they'll fuck with it because they're homosexual also um and it's and it's homosexual friendly there you come in the hood and we have to accept it because of the chains and the jewelry oh that shit fresh as fuck bro any nigga that comes up to you when you have that type of shit on and say that shit fresh as fuck bro they finna they immediately after they're gonna ask you for something guaranteed and you should know this. And that's why you want to know what the fuck is going on so that you can see who the snakes is. Um, I tell I tell bitches, I used to tell hoes, face to face, know your number. You're a seven. I'm going to tell you that you're a seven. And it's important that you understand that I'm not being facetious. I'm not being um, malicious. I'm telling you. You're a seven so that you understand at this point in time, you're a seven. There, there may be things that you can do to enhance that number to a 7.5 or 7.8. But for the most part, you're a seven. When you go in the club, you'll be an eight. Every girl, whatever you are in the club, you go up a point or maybe two points depending on how dark it is. But the fact that you know that you're a seven, if a nigga come up to you and say that you're a dime, you then know that he wants something from you. He's not being truthful. This is why the internet broke everything. Because so many niggas will tell you the same thing to where you actually believe that this is the truth. And when you start, when a seven starts walking around acting like a 10, she'll then be on her social media talking that shit about why her standards, she's not gonna lower her standards because she's lonely. In the real world, no one's, niggas not gonna rock with that shit. Like I said before, if you a seven, I'm not gonna approach you like you a fucking dime. And if I do, that means I want something from you. So then you still are lonely because even if I want something from you, I'm gonna get that and leave. You understand? I hope you understand. It's the same thing here. Once your environment changes to the point where there are no real people or, or there's so little, there's such a small amount of real people around you that you've become detached to the real world online. And you have to imagine that as a super superstar, the internet is, is a very weird place because that's where you get your most love from. But you know, at the corner of your eye, you see bullshit and you take the bullshit. You've now trained your mind to take anything negative as bullshit when that's not the case. This shit right here is bullshit. And I'm telling you it's bullshit, but because it's not a positive statement, you will take it as bullshit. Do you see how you can like you can become detached like that? The people around you are looking for pop success. Us, the people who got you to that point, are like, hey my nigga, you didn't did songs that were a little poppy, but now you're starting to become poppy. Future was able to do it. But never lost him. The future was he 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 can he can do his hell like that because his image wasn't nigga. I get it from no like you came in like nigga and shit in my ass. I sh won't sit on the toilet. Sh uh, shit outside and grab it with my hand. Wipe my ass with my thumb. Like some gritty shit. Like the they was they was putting XXX next to DMX when really I think it should have been Kevin Gates. Because he really gave it in a way he had a style that was, you know what I'm saying, not accepted and he still made it work. Same thing with DMX. His, his style was so fucking unique. Like, oh, oh, like what the fuck? And it worked. And he kept it so gritty real that it's like, 
I like I that's that's how we see you. Like you that you, know, you really are that. You really like that's really who you are. For you now to dye your hair blonde is equivalent of you painting your fingernails. It's the equivalent of you painting your fucking fingernails. When we saw Young Jock uh, put the swirl in his head, it was like, all right, all right. Then he put the dress on, we were still like, all right, because we didn't see him like that. You represent something. And it's just letting motherfuckers know that ain't nothing what it seems to be. If you can paint, but it's but it's also on some shit though. Let me make this statement. For for a minute, I'm be honest with you, for a minute, niggas down here, when we when we travel up north, this is back, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, a minute ago. When niggas used to travel up north, you'll see these niggas in them tight ass fucking jeans. The tight ass fucking jeans, but niggas were really like niggas was really killers. With real deal, like, know what I'm saying? Niggas would, like, niggas will kill you in skinny jeans and shit like that. And that shit looks so throw to us. Like, you would think, because if a nigga wears skinny jeans down this hole, you think he a skater, just a whole ass nigga that you can just slap the fuck out of him and he'll run down the street. You can't, you go up there and that's what that culture is. But you really can't, and, and this, I'm, I said that to say that just because a nigga has um, whole ass nigga tendencies, just cause and just cause a nigga gay don't mean that he won't fight and do something to you. You know what I'm saying? I think anybody will defend themselves. Um, so it's not saying that our oh, nigga can just go slap Kevin Gates at this point, but it's just more of that same shit to where someone told you that that was okay to do. It was a homosexual who did your hair, and you're in the free world. You're not going for a visit and you just need, oh man, I gotta get my shit done, god damn. Cocaine. It wasn't that. Oh no, nah, cocaine. It wasn't that, dog. It was. Yeah, you right, you right. And you got confused. Uh, I was in jail with a nigga and the nigga said, I don't believe in jailhouse redemption. Hold on. I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to compare the music industry to jail. Because when niggas get into this music industry, they change. Niggas go from this religion to this religion. Niggas go to dressing like this to dressing like this. Niggas go from fucking bitches that look like that to fucking shit that look like this. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's an institution. It's an institution. Just like a nigga who's doing time in jail, the best thing for him is to forget about the outside world and focus on in here if he's going to survive. I'm going to expound on that too because I think I might have caught on to something. This is the Big Facts Podcast and also the Rap Trap. If you have not, go to Stupid Rappers YouTube channel. Link in the description. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. Hit the PayPal. We working.